All right, guys, right back at you on the back porch. The dock was just too dark. Still kind of dark back here, too, but it's not. Y'all can see me. As long as y'all can see me. My last review, I did my voice only just to see just to see how it would turn out, but I got to get back to my element. Um, Arches. I thought I reviewed something from them, but I, I don't remember what it was. It wasn't memorable, so... This is their redemption beer. They better if this one if this one don't work. Washing my hands with these guys. A lot of Georgia breweries. And I'm trying to support them because I live in Georgia, but I've done a lot of traveling, and I don't. I won't even put Georgia in my top five. Like, and I live here. <laughs> I wouldn't like. We've got a few good hits. But as a whole, in the state, no. <laughs> too much copycat and too much cookie cutter action. Everybody wants to be like whatever's popular. Whatever the new trend is, that's what they want to go towards. I don't like that. Um, I respect companies like Dogfish Head, Bells, Founders, Lagunitas. You know, they, they, they go on on the limb. Um, like when I lived in Charlotte, Sugar Creek, um, Noda. Oh, I wish we can get Noda down here. They got a beer called Hop, Drop, and Roll. It's probably one of the best IPAs I've ever had in my life. Ever. But we don't have, they don't offer that down here. Off the rip, I'm seeing gold. I mean, it's the word heritage in gold letters, so maybe that's the, tell, the tell, telltale sign. Clean, honey, crackers. Those are the three words they give it. I notice a lot of beers are doing that now. They give you three firm, descriptive words to tell you what the beer is supposed to be about. A long description after that, though. Uh, barbarian barley, yada, yada. Uh, perfect Pilsner malt and the state of the art, yada, yada. Um, long story short with the description, they were inspired by different styles, which I can appreciate it, but maybe y'all can have your own style. You can derive from a style, but make it your own, you know? Okay, I'm not getting... You know what? Yes, I am getting crackers. I was going to say like a sweet biscuit. No, Keebler. Y'all, you guys remember Keebler? The Keebler crackers that smell like honey? They weren't honey-flavored crackers, but something about Keebler crackers... It had that honey smell. That's this. Keebler crackers in a glass. Oh, I like it. Okay, okay. Now I'm getting my hopes up because I'm like, this might be very good. 5.0%. Hell is lager. Cheers. Okay, guys. Better. Better. I forgot the name of the last beer I reviewed with them, but it was Arches. They're from Atlanta. I didn't like it that much because I probably probably say what I say about most of these beers. It tastes the same like everybody else. This has an identity, and that's what I need. I like beers with identity. Like Peroni Lager, say what you want about it. There's not much that really tastes like it. You know what I mean? And that's this. This beer fits that category. This is in a class of its own. It's, it's like a. A sweet biscuity cracker, Keebler cracker, but smooth, nice finish, a nice medium, almost silky body. Okay, I like this. I like this. And that's my issue with Georgia breweries. <clears throat> we got a brewery called Jekyll. I'm a, anybody that lives in Georgia know about Jekyll. And they, their first re release was called Hop Dang Diggity. Diggity. And it's a Southern IPA. And it's like 6.7%. Uh, my old job, I used to sell a bunch of it. But then they released other beers. And with me thinking that they were so awesome, I, di I dived in. I was like, oh, let me try this. Let me try this. Hop Dang Diggity is the only beer that they make that I can even, can even finish. The rest, they have like eight others that I... No, no. Terrapin is turning into that too. Terrapin was legendary for the beers they've been releasing. I still love their Wake and Bake. Um, I still love their Rye if you can find it. 
it's almost impossible to find. Um, Hops executioner, overrated. Uh, back to this lager. This is good. You almost need to pair this with something. Um, remember, I visited Salt Lake City. I went to Epic Brewing Company, um, downtown Salt Lake, and their brewery had a kitchen, and they had like appetizer plates. So you get like a cheese plate, and they have all kinds of exotic cheeses with like walnuts and honey and grapes, and and you'd pair the beers with the food. This would go great with a cheese plate or some. Or, this is like a warm up beer. This is like your hors d'oeuvres. You know what I mean? You got your hors d'oeuvres. You're eating some calam like calamari, marinara sauce, something like that. We'll go perfect with this. All right, guys, signing out. Blue ice. See y'all later. Cheers.